Okay, quick question. It was a rainy day and I had nothing special to do at home, so I had a look at, whoa, is it me? Oh, okay. At leak credentials. And the question that I had is, are they used by attackers? So basically, um, first, back to the roots. I'm pretty, I'm a whole guy on the internet. And I don't know if some of you had a shell account or one of my services that I started a long time ago. So what I did yesterday, I tried to find on archive.org, uh, on old screenshots from the website at this time. Really, really 90-ish website. I, I really hardly. But I started to offer free shell accounts for everybody. So if you were a student or a researcher, you can get an email address, an SSH account, a few megabytes of data, and a homepage on my server. I did this for free, totally for free. And at peak time, I had a few thousands users, not at the same time, of course, because it was a small server, but regular users connecting 24 hours a day and so on. So these people, they had an email address. And of course, at the same time, Web 2.0 started. So what does it mean? We started to have a lot of websites where you had to create an account on this website. And what people did, my users, my fellow users, they used their rootshell.be email address to register on these web servers. By the way, today, the same shit happens. You have a lot of people using their corporate email address to register on non-business websites. Don't do that, please. Because then, bad stuff started to happen. We had online services compromise, of course, so lead, uh, the credit share were leaked in the wild. Then we had phishing campaigns. All those people fell into the trap and bad guys, they attacked, they collected a lot of rootshell.pe email addresses. No, what I'm doing for a few years, I like to collect credentials. First, a big thank you to Circle to develop Ale because it's one of my favorite tools to collect this. I collect also a lot of uh, dumps on VT using interesting Yahoo's. And basically, that's what you find on these services. An interesting text file, for example, 250k Belgian combolist.txt, Yahoo, 300k USA.txt, a lot of dumps. I indexed everything. And of course, I try to search for interesting stuff. Usually, the quality of these dumps is really bad because people, they like to reuse these credentials. credentials. I don't know if it's my laptop or anyway. Um, it's compilation of previous leaks. They do the multiplication to have a very big file and you find 10, 20 times the same credential in the same file, so very bad quality. But the question that I had was, are these leaks used still today to get access to, to hold mailboxes? Because rootshell.be does not exist anymore. So it became a private domain. I still use it. And guess what? I collect a lot of emails because email addresses are still in the wild. So I have a casual email address for this. All activity is locked. And what I did, I decided to serve my mail server log. I concentrated only on mail services because I also I have plenty of SSH probes and so on. And um, I searched across only the last six months. And guess what? This is what I found. Daily attempts to connect on the mail server using the previous credentials. From time to time, you see you have big peaks, so probably they do some kind of brute force attacks. I don't know, but every day I get probes using all credentials. For statistic reason, you have some nice countries. Don't ask me why Netherlands is top one, Vietnam top two. I have no idea. No political, nothing special, but definitively they are used. So, conclusion. Uh, even if the quality of these leaks is really bad, really poor, they are used in the wild. People use them daily because it's a low-hanging fruit. So basically, they just try. So basically, the conclusion is never keep all credentials in use and be sure that you change your password. If you get a nice notification from a provider that your email address has been disclosed in the dump, change your password. Thank you very much. Thank you.